So as we were transitioning from plan C to plan B, it took a lot of planning and collaboration with teammates because we had to figure out how to work with students in the building and remotely at the same time, how to be able to teach them and engage students. So some positives that we found is I had a student the other day tell me how thankful he was that I sent him an email and said, hey, you did a great job today. So those little communications with the students have been very helpful to keep them engaged and want to come to school. The fact that we've been able to use, device, use applications like Mentimeter and um, quizzes and some other different online venues where kids can still feel like they're part of the class. Um, and that we can use the Zoom on our, we have record access, which have been great too, because we can actually show students there. The students feel like they're part of the class because we can interact on our screens and share that on the Zoom. So the students do see real time what everyone else in the, in the classroom is seeing. So that has helped with the students that are remote. Students in the class truly just want to be in the building. So the fact that we have been able to do that small group and sit and work with them um, has been a huge success and they're growing so much faster when they're in the room with us and they understand the content a lot quicker and we're filling in gaps, which is a huge success for us. So it has been a really kind of confusing time, but aid work turned out really well and I really do enjoy the, the plan B more because I think it's easier for me to kind of get through it and it's like really, easy for me and I feel like I should be in the classroom because I don't really focus on remote much. I feel like in-person vision division is way more better for me. So whenever like I see my Plan A students, uh, I just feel like I, I want to be with them so I can understand more. Uh, so one of the, there's a couple big um, battles and one of them has been time. And so learning how to teach differently, to teach in a different format that you're engaging students that are in front of you and students that are remote. So it's a, it's a learning curve with technology for a lot of teachers. It's a learning curve with time because our time is consumed with the students that are in the classroom, offering time for students that are remote. And uh, we also have cleaning and you know walks and keeping students distanced so that takes a lot of time of the day and meetings still that we have so that we can best meet the needs of all of our students so our time has been very limited and that's probably one of the biggest hurdles to overcome and that learning curve for some of the technology of how to incorporate and blend the two different classrooms together so some of the time things have been overcome because our team at least my team of math teachers, we work very closely collaboratively. So we have designated time on Wednesdays where we work together um, and that is designated time that is not compromised at all. And then we routinely are messaging and meeting and discussing and sharing and dividing the jobs, right? So we're, we're collaborating together. In fact, we even do our own Google Classroom together so that we are uniform across the board as well. Um, the biggest thing we've been just telling our parents and our students, and we keep telling ourselves, is to be patient, right? We are all working on this together. We will be successful. The students are being successful. We just have to keep supporting each other, and it is getting easier. It's getting easier on the students. It's getting easier on teachers. It's getting easier on parents. We really don't like this new normal. We do want all of our students in the classroom. We do want to see their faces every day. We want them to success and be successful and to grow. And so we're just asking for patience as we figure out this new pathway and journey.